Welcome back. Tonight, the editorial page writer for the free press side of the Chattanooga Times Free Press op-ed page is off the job. The Times Free Press fired Drew Johnson today af after an editorial appeared in Tuesday's edition as well as on their website before President Obama's visit. Take a look. The headline of that article read, quote, Take your jobs plan and shove it, Mr. President. Your policies have harmed Chattanooga enough. Well, today the paper said the headline was inappropriate for their newspaper. It goes on to say, quote, it was not the original headline approved for publication, and Johnson violated the normal editing process when he changed the headline. The paper also pointed out that the content of the editorial was not the reason for his firing. But Johnson joins us right now to explain his side of the story. Mr. Johnson, thank you for well, being with for us. Thanks for having me. I Drew, it. you tweeted today that this policy did not exist before you broke it. Explain that if you could. That's what's really interesting about this. It's really common for us to to put in a placeholder uh, or even a, a not a very good title and change it at the last second. Mm -hmm. And this is done maybe once a week. And uh, in this case, I did it. I thought of the Johnny Paycheck song, take this job and shove it, and thought it'd be a good, a good title. Um, and the next day I came in and um, I was told that there would be a policy put in place because people you know, had complained about the, uh, about the title. And I said, that's fine. And today I was brought in and said, you're fired for violating that policy that wasn't created until after I wrote the piece. So that's, that's the really confusing part about all this. So you contend that you were fired based on the content of that article and not just a policy about the headline. Well, not necessarily the content of the article, but the fact that you know, President Obama's in town. I think people wanted to put on a good face for the president. But I represent the view of so many people in our area that are frustrated with his policies, don't believe they work. And I, I, I basically put that in the headline. And um, at the time, I didn't see that much wrong with it. And um, I certainly apologize to anybody I offended. Um, but yeah, the, the, the firing was based on, some, uh, on a, me violating a policy that simply wasn't around on Tuesday. When they explained that to you in your meeting, what did you say back to your management there and at the paper? I mean, basically what I just said, um, that uh, the policy wasn't in place. If I needed to check off everything I changed, um, then I'd be happy to do it in the future. But again, this is something that happens all the time, at least on the editorial side of the page, where we, um, of the paper, where we change the headline to something better, something more appropriate, and it's never been a problem in the past. And to your knowledge, no one ever disciplined for changing a headline before? Well, certainly not while I've been there. I, I do want to say I really appreciate the people of Chattanooga for letting me in their homes and letting me write and read the things that I write and, and listen to the things I say. It, it's really been an honor. So no matter if you broke the policy or not, you're now out of a job. That's right. Do you regret it? Um, no, I don't, I don't regret uh, standing up for what I believe. And, um, you know, I think, <laughs> you know, if, if uh, quoting Johnny Paycheck is, is wrong, I don't want to be right anyway. But, uh, but certainly it was, a, it was an, a line that may have gone too far. Um, and if I had it to do over again, maybe I would have taken a different tone, but I don't regret uh, standing up for what I think a lot of people around here believe. Never a good thing to lose your job, obviously, no. but you're getting a lot of attention from this. Mm -hmm. Tonight you're going to be on, on Glenn Beck's show on The Blaze. We've seen you on Breitbart and Huffington Post and a lot of national publications. So it's, you're getting a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hopefully that will convert into a job. But the reason for the attention is the fact that if I'd ri written something like take your jobs plan and shove it, uh, Mayor Burke, or Governor Haslam, this wouldn't have been a problem. It's the fact that I said it about Obama. And Obama, to some people, is just untouchable. And so a lot of people called, a lot of people complained. Okay. And the problem is that uh, the people who support what I wrote don't necessarily, they just say, that's great, but they don't call the editor of the paper. Drew, we're out of time. Thanks so much for Thanks. joining us. Thank you. We'll be right back.